a high-performance VLSI architecture for the present lightweight cryptography. Abstract In this paper, propose a high-performance and area-efficient VLSI architecture with 64-bit data path for the present block cipher. The proposed architecture performs an integrated encryption-slash-decryption operation for both 80-bit and 128-bit key lengths. The architecture is synthesized for the Spartan 3XCS400-5 FPGA device, available on the Xilinx platform. The results also highlight that present is well suited for high-speed and high-throughput applications. Especially its hardware F.CNC, it has been observed that the proposed architecture utilizes 0.73% and 0.87% of FPGA slices for 80-bit and 128-bit key lengths respectively. A throughput of 410 Mbps and power consumption is about 16 MW for both the key lengths. Keywords lightweight cryptography, present block cipher, integrated encryption slash decryption, VLSI architecture, FPGAs. One introduction. The upcoming era of pervasive computing will be characterized by many smart devices that because of the tight cost constraints inherent in mass deployments have very limited resources in terms of memory, computing power, and battery supply. Here, it's necessary to interpret Moore's law differently, rather than a doubling of performance, we see a halving of the price for constant computing power every 18 months. Because many foreseen applications have extremely tight cost constraints for example, RFID in Tetra Packs over time, Moore's law will increasingly enable such applications. Many applications will process sensitive health monitoring or biometric data, so the demand for cryptographic components that can be efficiently implemented is strong and growing. For such implementations, as well as for ciphers that are particularly suited for this purpose, we use the generic term lightweight cryptography in this article. Every designer of lightweight cryptography must cope with the trade-offs between security, cost, and performance. It's generally easy to optimize any two of the three design goals security and cost, security and performance, or cost and performance, however, it is very difficult to optimize all three design goals at once. For example, a secure and high-performance hardware implementation can be achieved by side-channel resistant architecture, resulting in a high area requirement, and thus high costs. On the other hand, it's possible to design a secure, low-cost hardware implementation with the drawback of limited performance one. As shown in the Fig 1, lightweight cryptography provides a solution tailored for resource-constrained devices and their efficient VLSI implementations, recently, National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST, provided overview of lightweight cryptography and an outline of NIST's plan for standardizing the lightweight cryptographic algorithms too. Further, a detailed taxonomy of the lightweight block ciphers can be found in 3 and 4. Systematic surveys of lightweight cryptography ciphers and their software and hardware implementations with detailed description and related discussions can be found in 3, 4, and 1. Here, it has been emphasized that efficient implementation of the ciphers are closely dependent on the selection of appropriate architecture, as they result in low implementation complexity and high performance in actual realizations. To propose a new architecture for the lightweight cryptography, there is always trade-offs between the three prime objectives i.e. security, cost, and performance, which is shown in Fig 2. In this paper propose a high-performance and area-efficient VLSI architecture for the present block cipher that completely integrates both encryption and decryption engines. The architecture has been implemented in the Xilinx Spartan 3XCS400-5 FPGA Device 5. The experimental results of the implementation show that the proposed architecture consumes a number of 126 slices for the 80-bit key and 150 slices for the 128-bit key lengths. Lightweight block cipher with a block size of 64 bits. Present algorithm. The present algorithm 6 is a symmetric block cipher that can process data blocks of 64 bits, using a key of length 80 or 128 bits. The cipher is referred to as present 80 or present 128 when using an 80-bit or 128-bit key respectively. Present specific notations. 
Present Encryption The present block cipher consists of 31 rounds, i.e. 31 applications of a sequence of simple transformations. A pseudocode description of the complete encryption algorithm is provided in Figure 1, where state denotes the internal state. The individual transformations used by the algorithm are defined in 6. Each round of the algorithm uses a distinct round key key, 1i31. Two consecutive rounds of the algorithm are shown for illustrative purposes in Figure 5. Figure 3 The encryption procedure of present. Present decryption. The complete present decryption algorithm is given in Figure 4. The individual transformations used by the algorithm are defined in 6. Each round of the algorithm uses a distinct round key key, 1i31. Present transformations. Add round key. Given round key key equals key 63, key 0 for 1 equals i equals 32 and current state b63, b0. Add round key consists of the operation for 0 equals j equals 63, bj. bj. S box layer. The nonlinear S box layer of the encryption process of present uses a single 4 bit to 4 bit S box S which is applied 16 times in parallel in each round. The S box transforms the input X to an output S, X, as given in hexadecimal notation in Table 1. For S box layer the current state B63, B0 is considered as 16 4 bit words W15, W0 where WI equals B4I plus 3 B4I plus 2. B4I plus 1 B4I for 0 equals I equals 15 and the output nibble S, WI provides the updated state values as a concatenation s w15 s w14 s w0 inverse s box layer the s box used in the decryption procedure of present is the inverse of the 4 bit to 4 bit s box s that is described and the inverse s box transforms the input x to an output s1 x as given in hexadecimal notation in table 2 p layer the bit permutation player used in the encryption routine of present is given by table 3. Bit I of state is moved to bit position P, I. I and VP layer. The inverse permutation layer in player used in the decryption routine of present is given by table 4. Bit I of state is moved to bit position P1, I. Present key schedule. The key schedule. Present can take keys of either 80 or 128 bits. However, we focus on the version with 80-bit keys. The user supply key is stored in a key register K and represented as K79, K78, K0. At round I the 64-bit round key key equals 0.63.62. 0 consists of the 64 leftmost bits of the current contents of register K. Thus at round I we FPGA implementation of FPGA. The main design goals of the present block cipher. Described in present algorithm, it is simplicity and high performance slash area ratio, so that all cipher components can be easily mapped in hardware. First, it describe our implementation of the encryption algorithm of present. The top level design overview is shown in FIG 6 and the interface of the CI for top module is shown in FIG 7. As can be seen from the latter one our present 80 and present 128 entities have 212 and 270 IO pins, respectively. We did not implement any IO logic such as a UART interface in order to achieve implementation. Curse for the plain present core. The interface usually strongly depends on the target application. It deliberately use additional IO pins for a parallel key input. There are two reasons why we abandon the options of hard coding the key inside the cipher module or implementing serial interface to supply the key to the algorithm. First, we want to reduce the control logic overhead to a minimum to be able to present the results reacting the performance of the ciphering algorithm only. Secondly, most applications will us as an independent cipher module inside a larger top entity, so that the key can be supplied externally and in that perspective our implementation model offers the best dot exibility. Unfortunately, the low-cost Spartan 3XC3S200 FPGA has no package with more than 173 IO pin 7. 
therefore we decided to move to the more advanced Spartan 3XC3S400 which features a package, FG456, with 264 IO pins. Larger Spartan FPGAs such as the Spartan 3XC3S1000 feature even more IO pins but also contain more logic resources. Since we focus on lightweight and low-cost implementations of present in this paper we chose the smallest possible device Spartan 3XC3S400 which is only slightly larger, and hence more expensive, than the Spartan 3XC3S200. The entire cipher control logic was implemented as a three-state dot night state machine. After reset the dot RST round begins and the two inputs of the algorithm, plain text and user supplied key are read from the corresponding registers. The 64 and 80 bit multiplexer select the appropriate input depending on the value of the round counter, i.e. initial values for plain text and key are valid only in round 1. Both 64 and 80 bit d-ip-ops are used for round synchronization between the round function output and the output of the key schedule. Part of the round key is then X or read with the plain text. Key schedule and round function run in parallel for each round. Implementation of both permutation and bit rotation is very straightforward in hardware, which is a simple bit wiring. The highly nonlinear present S-box function is the core of the cryptographic strength of the cipher, and is the only design component that takes a lion's share of both computational power and area. Two implementation options for the present S-box were taken in consideration in order to optimize the f dotciency of the cipher. Using lookup tables, LUTs, for bit substitution is the most obvious one and was implemented .rst. An alternative considered next was determining a minimal nonlinear Boolean function. SI, F42 underscore. F2. X3, X2, X1, X0. Ye, 0 equals I equals 3. For each bit output of the present S box using only standard gates, i.e. N, or N not. A tool named Espresso 8 helped us produce such minimal Boolean functions for the present S box. Interestingly, in some cases this modi cation yielded performance boost in terms of maximum frequency slash throughput and area requirements measured in occupied slices. E.g., for present 80 with espresso optimized S-box ISE showed sine dot can't decrease in critical path delay due to routing as compared to the S-box implementation with LUTs. From our results we conclude that Espresso and its minimal Boolean functions can yield better resources utilization and may in some cases outpace ISC's internal synthesis mechanisms. The decryption unit of present is very similar to the encryption. The decryption data path is presented in Fig 5. The .rst round of decryption requires the last round key of the encryption routine. For optimal performance we assume that this last round key is pre-computed and available at the beginning of the decryption routine. The assumption is fair since we have to perform this step only once for multiple cipher texts. We implemented both encryption and decryption functions in VHDL for the Spartan 3XC3S400, package FG456 with speed grade minus 5, FPGA core from Xilinx. We used Mentor Graphics Model Sim XE 6.2G for simulation purposes and Xilinx ISE V10.1.03 WebPACK for design synthesis. Table 5 summarizes the performance performance.gurs for our implementations. All All.gurs presented are from post place and route timing report. To achieve optimal results both synthesis and place and root effort properties were set to high and place and root extra effort was set to continue on impossible. To compare the proposed design with an existing design available in the literature, the selected design metrics are, slice LUTs, registers and a total number of consumed slices. To perform a comparison at the architectural level, the proposed integrated architecture is tuned to match the architectural capability of 9. Therefore, for comparison, the key scheduling unit is implemented using on-the-fly mode rather than storing the computed keys in the BRAM. An architectural level comparison between the proposed design and the design of 9 is given below. A architectural level comparison The architecture presented in 9 is one of a few established ones that provides decryption operation for the FPGA. 
This architecture has been implementation on the Xilinx Spartan Thurix 3S400 FPGA device. Thus, to perform a fair comparison of utilized device resources, we have targeted the same FPGA device and equal speed grade. Similar to 9, the implementation has been performed for both 80 bit key length, pre underscore 80, and 128 bit key length, pre underscore 128. The synthesis results for both the architectures are compared and shown in Fig.9. All the data presented in Fig.9 are from the post place and root PNR report. It can be observed from the above figure that, in comparison to architecture 10, the proposed architecture with 80 bit key length, pre underscore 80, requires 12.6% lower FPGA slices and with 128 bit key length, pre underscore 128, consumes 9.7% lesser slices. By this, we can say that the proposed integrated architecture is capable of performing both the encryption, ENC, and decryption, DEC, by the same set of hardware, which is an essential requirement in any practical lightweight cipher-based system. Also, the integrated architecture consumes lesser slices in comparison to two separate modules for performing encryption and decryption. It can be noted that our design requires an extra clock cycle in comparison with 10 to perform the operations as we have considered the registered output. Conclusion An integrated VLSI architecture for present lightweight block cipher is presented. The architecture supports both the encryption and decryption operations with 80-bit and 128-bit key lengths. The design is modeled in the VHDL language and synthesized in Xilinx Spartan Thurix 3S400 FPGA device on ML505 platform. The architecture utilizes 0.73% and 0.87% of FPGA slices for 80-bit and 128-bit key length, respectively. The throughput of the design is around 410 Mbps and power consumption is around 16 Mw for both the key lengths. The proposed architecture is area efficient with high performance capability for providing an adequate level of security under the resource constrained environment for IoT and CPS applications. Acknowledgements We thank Dr. A. Kumari Assistant Professor, K. Jiranjivi Rao for their contributions to the development of present. We also thank E.Govind for his assistance with software implementations.